Hi there. So we talked a little bit about leash pulling on our Facebook group page, and I want to elaborate on that a little bit. So there is nothing more frustrating than wanting to go for a nice walk with your dog and they're dragging you down the street. Well, I always say to people, when they complain about their dogs pulling, what are we doing? And most of the time we're trying to accommodate them, even though the leash is tight, we're still trying to accommodate them because we don't want to encourage pulling. But actually what we do is we teach them to pull into whatever they're wearing, collar, harness, or what have you. And it's because we're allowing it. So a couple of things I want you to work on or try is I want you, if your dog is on your right, I want you to hold the leash on your belly with your left hand. So this hand is free and you can put it on top to secure your leash hand. If your dog is on your left, I want you to hold with your right hand the leash and have this left hand free, put it on top of your right hand, the leash hand. This having a free hand between you and your dog, you can slip into your treat pouch, you can scratch your head, you can, can, you can um, secure your leash hand. And when you stop and talk to somebody or just stop, I want you to hold and I want you to almost kind of say, well, if there's a squirrel or if there's something, I'm going to hold and I'm going to see how long it takes for my dog to sit because your dog is going to end up coming back and sitting next to you. It's because what you are saying is you're not pulling on me anymore. Now, how does that work and how can we get that to be um, understood while we're walking? Well, if you're walking like this, my dog is here, I'm holding my leash with my right hand. I want you, your dog gets out in front of you. I want you to turn, focus on something in front of you. Be kind when you're turning so you don't whip your dog around, but you're gonna turn and you're gonna go and focus on wherever it is in the distance. You're gonna get a focal point and you're gonna go. Now, they're gonna go, oh, mom's changing direction and they're gonna come right out in front of you. That's what they're used to. I want you then again to turn away from your dog, find a focal point and walk toward it. I don't want you, I want you to walk with confidence, okay? I don't want you to um, walk fast or walk slow or tentatively. I want you to be confident as you walk. And sometimes you're walking down the street like going front, back, front, back, front, side, I want them to start, I want our dogs to start going, where's mom going? Questioning, where's mom going? If they're thinking about where you're going, they are not thinking about where can I pull you to. On your walk, I do want you to stop and I want you to just wait for them to come back and even sit. You can pop them a treat then. What a beautiful thing. Our dogs need to connect with us on our walk in order for them to understand what we want. So if there's any question at all, please put it on our group page um, or get in touch with me and I can teach you even more. But this might be a good start. Even if you don't make it out of your driveway, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be a working walk. Working walks are far healthier than just a walk be that is where you're being dragged down the street. So try that and give us feedback. It's really such an interesting subject and I want it to be a good experience for you and it can.